A quick way to make a branching Google form is to go to alicekiller.com slash branching form. You're going to make a copy. When you get in, it's going to give you a default, how many branching questions do you want? It's going to create two sections for each question automatically, which is going to save you a lot of clicking and a lot of time. Do you want this to be a quiz, to have quiz features, yes or no? If yes, how many points do you want it to be worth? And if you just wait a minute, it's going to say create quiz, and you can create a branching quiz. Every time you're going to have to authorize, advanced, and it says unsafe because they're letting you know that it's not been verified by anyone at Google, and Google is not going to say that it's safe. They don't know. They didn't look at it. It's safe. I coded it myself. So click down here. You're allowing yourself access to your own documents. Say hello. Once the script has run, it will give you a link to the Google form. Click on it to launch the form. You now need to do some editing. As always, please click on the settings cog and change any settings that you want in your Google form. And then you're going to come down and you'll see it has demographic information, first name, last name, and if you're teaching high school you may have multiple periods. If you don't, you can always delete that question. And then you'll notice I have a section for question one, a section for question one revisit, a section for question two revisit, etc. for however many questions you said that you wanted to create, finalizing in, end of the assessment. You're going to now need to go through and actually write the questions. So question one. And red, blue, green, yellow. By the way, these blue icons, I have the Equatio Chrome extension installed, and so it allows me to add math. Yours probably does not have that if you don't have the Equatio Chrome extension. Notice it automatically asks you to continue to the next section. You're going to need to set that yourself. From question one, if they get question one right, I want them to go to question two. If they get question one incorrect, I want them to go to question one, revisit. And then you might want to click on the three dots icon and shuffle the option order just so the AB question option. So on the question one, revisit, you may want to add a YouTube video. They can watch the video and be more likely to have some success. The toolbar on the side here, this TT, allows you to put information without it being a question. Now it's going to, by default, have another question, and you'll notice it is not branching because it assumes that, right or wrong, that they would just go to the next section, or I could have them go back to question one, which would have them fix their answer and give them a chance before it would move them to question two.